Hi there, there. Today we're gonna be reading The Snow Rabbit by Georgina Deutsch and Addison Edgson. The Snow Rabbit. Bear was always grumpy. He had a big furry frown and a sulky scowl. And whenever he felt extra, specially grumpy, he would give a grisly, grumbly growl. The animals didn't dare to go near Bear's beautiful garden, except for one very smiley rabbit. Good morning, Bear. Go away. Poor Bear, thought Rabbit as she skipped away. He needs cheering up, and Rabbit knew just what to do. That night, Bear couldn't sleep. He grouched and grumbled and looked out of his window, and there in the moonlight was... A snow rabbit. Bear was outraged. He stamped outside, took a deep breath and bellowed, Who has been in my garden? The trees trembled and shook as the sound of Bear's rumbling roar until... Crash! <laughs> Bother! Now I've got soggy fur and a squashed rabbit. The next morning... Bear woke up in a very bad mood. He peeked outside, frowning as he saw the wonky snow rabbit sitting sadly in the sunshine. That's it, Bear grumped. I'm going to find out who built the snow rabbit. Fox, Bear growled. Did you build a snow rabbit in my garden? Fox gulped. No, 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 he stuttered. Bear harumped and stomped off. It must have been Badger. Look out, Badger. I've never seen Bear so grumpy. Bear stormed up Badger's garden path. Badger, did you build a snow rabbit? No, it wasn't me. Squirrels, it must have been you. It wasn't. Right, roared Bear. If it wasn't Fox or Badger, and it wasn't the squirrels, it must have been Rabbit. Hello, Bear, smiled Rabbit, hopping up. Did you call? Yes, bellowed Bear. You put a snow rabbit in my garden. I thought it might make you smile, said Rabbit hopefully. Bear took a deep breath. The animals covered their eyes. Well, it did not make me smile, Bear growled. It made a massive mess. And you're going to help me fix it. Or else. Bear turned and marched home. Rabbit blinked in amazement. We can mend this, Rabbit beamed when she saw the squashed snow rabbit. And together, that's what they did. Then, when the snow rabbit looked perfectly perfect, they made a snow bear. And for the first time in a long time, Bear forgot to be grumpy. That night, Bear couldn't sleep. He stood at his window and gazed down at the snow bear and the snow rabbit standing together in the moonlight. A slow smile spread across Bear's face. It feels good to have a friend, he thought. And that gave Bear a wonderful idea. Chuckling to himself, Bear pulled on his boots marched into his perfect garden, 
I'd better change this. And set to work on his mysterious plan. The next morning, the animals were in for a surprise. Whoa, snow squirrels, it looks just like me. And with so many new friends, Bear was never grumpy again. I hope you enjoyed reading The Snow Rabbit with me.